So hi there, welcome to my channel where I'll talk about anything recreation and motivation about health and if you might like my videos, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for many videos to come. If you want to be notified, please click that notification bell for my next videos, you will be notified. So hi there again. So before I start the video, I would like to clarify that I am not a specialist in this field. I am not a doctor, I am not a dietitian, I am not a pharmacist. I just like to use my tracking for diet in a manner that I boost the possibilities because as I always say, diet and nutrition are always one. Anyways, let's get on with the video. I will just make this fast because there are a lot of vitamins out there and to make it a brief explanation I will also plan inside the RENI as basis. So here are the vitamins and minerals that I will focus on. Number one is calcium, iron, magnesium, manganese, pantothenic acid, phosphorus, potassium, riboflavin, selenium, and sodium, thiamine, Vitamin A, Vitamin B3, B6, B12, Vitamin C, Vitamin D, Vitamin E, and Vitamin K. And last to complete the alphabet is Zinc. Anyways, we have a long way to go, so let's get it started with. So let's go to number one, which is the calcium. Calcium main sources are the dairy products. Well, we all know that calcium is really necessary for the body and the bones. Basically because bones are made up of calcium, they strengthen the bones and they make us grow. I personally love milk powders as a source of calcium. They are also enriched with other nutrients, typically common in malls. However, take note that calcium is supported by two minerals or nutrients, or two vitamins rather. That is vitamin K and vitamin D. So look for those two if you want a good calcium absorption to your body. And for milk, of course, we have 4 mg per gram and higher. So other sources of calcium other than milk, we have the cheese, the yogurt, and flaxseed, which has 2 mg per gram of calcium. Also wheat grass, one of the most highly nutrient food, which has 4 mg per gram of calcium. And also almonds with 2 mg per gram. By the way, the R8 knife for calcium is this, and this is the amount you need to achieve for the day. So let's go to number two, which is the iron. Iron is that which increases our immune system for the healthy blood and regulates our body temperature. It can be found in high amounts in the following food. First is the oats with 0.05 mg per gram. That's a hot one for you for a cereal. Next is bananas. You will really go bananas with 0.03 mg per gram. The malungay powder or moringa has 0.3 mg per gram. The wheat flour which has 0.04 mg per gram. And also the meat products such as pork, chicken, beef, and including the eggs and fish has 0.01 mg per gram of iron. So this is the RNI you need to reach for iron. Make sure to balance out your food by tracking out these common foods to this amount. Anyways, let's go to number 3 which is magnesium. It is most necessary for the cells and for creating energy. And of course, energy from the food. So honorable mentions are sweetened dry powder cocoa which has 4.99 mg per gram. That's very rich. Next is the almond nuts, which has 2.5 mg per gram. Next is macadamia and pistachio nuts, which has 1.2 mg per gram of magnesium. Next is the hazelnut and walnuts, which has 1.5 mg per gram. Next, let's go to seafoods. We have skipjack tuna and tilapia, both having 0.3 mg per gram. Next is the crab, 0.6 milligram per gram. Next is, 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 is Pyridina series which has 1.9 milligram per gram. The meat cuts which is pork, beef, and chicken which has 0.2 milligram per gram. Including the sunflower seeds which has 1.25 milligram per gram of magnesium. So here is the RE and I you need to reach for magnesium. This is for a single day. 
So without further delay, let's go to the next one which is the manganese. Manganese which is an essential component of various enzymes that is used for energy generation and bone mineral density. So the best mentions for manganese are cooked mussels for 0.068 mg per gram, hazelnuts which has 0.0615 mg per gram, oats which has 0.0494 mg per gram of manganese. Next is macadamia nuts which has 0.041 mg per gram. Unsweetened dry powder cocoa 0.034 mg per gram. Whole grain wheat flour which 0.0383 mg per gram. Black rice 0.0374 mg per gram. Bananas which 0.034 mg per gram. And wheat grass with a whopping 40 mg per gram of manganese. Anyways, now let's go to number 5, pantothenic acid. Pantothenic acid which is also called vitamin B5. This is a water-soluble vitamin based on the data. It helps making blood cells and converts food into energy. As a fact, all of the B vitamins creates or helps in the production of energy from food. So it can be found majorly in the following. A lot of milk brands which is available from malls which has the range of 0.03 to 0.1 mg per gram. Check those milk out if you want to. Next is the beef liver which has 0.071 mg per gram. Egg yolk only which has 0.03 mg per gram. Quail eggs with 0.018 mg per gram. Paprika which is 0.018 mg per gram White mushroom with 0.15 mg per gram of pantothenic acid Black rice which is 0.0149 mg per gram of vitamin B5 Black rice which is 0.0149 mg per gram Egg which is 0.0144 mg per gram Cheddar cheese which is 0.0143 mg per gram Peanuts which is 0.0137 mg per gram Oats which is 0.0135 mg per gram. Grass with a whopping 10.29 mg per gram. So these are the amount of need to reach for the day for pantothenic acid. Also I would like to note that you must not be surprised with the wheat grass. Wheat grass is high nutrient dense food. It's what we call as a superfood. Anyways, let's go to number 6 which is the phosphorus. Phosphorus which is the components of bones, teeth, DNA and RNA, cell membranes and key energy source too. It is also responsible for the growth and repair of tissue or our cells. And also, as I said, producing genetic building blocks such as the DNA and the RNA. So honorable mentions are cheddar cheese which has 19.314 mg per gram Unsweetened dye powder cocoa which is 7.33 mg per gram Hini or sesame butter which is 7.32 mg per gram Milk commonly found in malls which is a range of 6 to 7 mg per gram Sun flower seeds which is 6.6 .6 mg per gram Sesame seeds and black seeds which is 6.38 mg per gram and lastly, oats with 5.2 mg per gram of phosphorus. So these are the RNI for phosphorus. Now let's go to the electrolyte and mineral potassium. So potassium is that electrolyte that helps in reducing the amount of sodium consumed or flowing inside the body. Also important in the water balance is transporting energy through cells. So best mentions are malungai or moringa which is a high amount of 13.24 mg per gram of potassium. Unsalted pistachio nuts, which is 10.4 mg per gram. Milk powder and malls, ranging from 9 mg per gram. Black seed, which is 8.13 mg per gram. Hildress raisins, which is 7.4 mg per gram. Almonds, which is 7.04 mg per gram. And yam, also I think it's ubi in the Philippines, which is a potassium amount of 6.69 mg per gram Peanuts which is 6.582 mg per gram Cabbage which is 1.7 mg per gram Bananas 3.5 mg per gram Avocado 6.43 mg per gram Potatoes 5.35 mg per gram This is the amount you need to reach for potassium Let's go to the vitamin B2 which is the riboflavin Vitamin B2 is needed for the overall growth and good health 
also helps in the breakdown of energy, more commonly known as the carbohydrate, protein, and fat. So honorable mentions are some milk in the malls which has 0 0.039 mg per gram, beef liver which is 0 0.034 mg per gram, cheddar cheese which is 0 0.0143 mg per gram, egg white which is 0 0.011 mg per gram, almonds which is 0 0.0098 mg per gram, and wheat grass which has a whopping 74.29 mg per gram. This is the R&I you need to reach for riboflavin.